Maximals. There's Maximal family on my back with some more. Well, you know what it is. Destiny. Um, I haven't touched this for a long time. And I feel bad. I've done this with GTA 5 and I'm trying to catch up with that as well. Oh. And as you guys can tell, new stuff's been going on. Um, you know? And then also, we've got Destiny 2 coming out at some point, so... Nope. Oh, fuck that. That's not fair. Whatever. Anyway. Let's check our stuff. We got something new. Right. Okay. Um we're going to have to do this. From the day your ghost woke you, your light has been our beacon. You defended this city from the worst the darkness sent against us. Atheon, Crota, Oryx. Yeah, I've, I've, I've skipped that. You know what, I'm sorry. I'm skipping it. I, I can't do it. Because I just feel like it ain't right. It ain't right. That's a bit bullshit that they force you. To watch that, I assume they just assume you know better. But, um, again, we're going to see what, what's around the area, grab what we can, and yeah, just have fun. Just get on with the game, start to finish. I feel like it's, you could say it's like to the road of Destiny, but Destiny 2, but to me I'm just finishing something I should have finished. Yeah, it's the same with Rare Replay or Rare Let's Play. <laughs> I've, that's, there's three games I pretty much haven't finished. I think you deserve a little shot. Evening, Guardian. You're looking better than ever. Right. Checking. All done. Goodbye. Huh? Okay. Ah, uh, can't wear it yet for fuck's sake. Oh well, right. Let's see what the Vanguard would like. Across the system, our enemies are regrouping. A last gasp in the wake of our recent victories. The vanguard would call on you once again. Fall and you'll be behind. No, I can't do this. It's annoying because I feel like the downside is, is that if you're a new player, you're going to be like, well, what's all these? You're going to do things that you probably shouldn't be really doing, and you're going to be all over the place. 
So I think Bungie really need to kind of pace it a bit. I mean, but at the same time, you know, just do whatever. But yeah, you know how it is. They shouldn't really be doing it like in that sense. Right, anyway, let's get on with what we were doing before. <laughs> right, I guess we're doing on normal, which is fine by me. Again, I have nothing out, I don't get anything out of it, I might do actually. I mean, I'll be levelling up, leveling up a character, which would be quite interesting. There are reports that the Fallen back at the Cosmodrome are keeping a pretty tight guard on the old Skywatch. It could be one of their leaders, or it could be something valuable. The speaker's asking Guardians to look at... Right. That's another thing, your character doesn't really speak after the DLCs. Which is a shame, and I think it's quite stupid. You know, we had enough of mutes. And if all the Guardians are their own individual people, imagine that, like, they're all just quiet. Like, how are you? And everyone's just there, like, being quiet. Okay, the Skywatch is just on the other side of the steps. And it's surrounded by Fallen. Well, I'm ready if you are. Right. Right. You know, this place must have been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships. Off to build cities beyond. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how... Old. The story is all over the place. I mean... I would like to um, explain it, but honestly, it's one of those ones where I think they messed up a bit. And I think a few people are walking out, and yeah, I, d I don't know. I mean, one minute we have the story, it's like, okay, fair enough, this person disappears, or there this person's there, are we the going to get more of them? The yeah, okay, fair enough. But that's what I don't get. It's like, we get all these people, and then some of them don't even show up again. If we go, okay, fair enough, maybe DLC or the next game. Nope. And it's like, they keep changing it, it's like, no mind, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll start properly telling the story now instead. It's like, no, don't start, incorporate those characters. Incorporate that person from before. You know, it's just bullshit and it pisses me off really. And, I'm, but, and Bungie know better, I mean. But again, I guess, you know, you know how it works in this generation. People don't give a shit as long as they get a game. No one gives a fuck how good it is, no one gives a fuck how good the story is and the quality as long as they got a box with a disc in it no one gives a shit that's how they see it and I think it's quite shitty nowadays that peep that we have this um right with killing you and letting you get away There we go. Let's go. Oh, you collect this up as well, spin metal. And if you saw that, that's not somebody I'd know. It's basically, you know, if you've played Destiny already, or if you haven't, which I assume. You might not have done, but if you haven't, I'll explain. Um, basically, you have it in a case where, um, P, you know, it's like it's not an offline game. You can't do it on your own, even if you tried. But I mean, someone might come by and help us out by accident, or somebody might be a dick and you know take your kills, which you need to get a certain quest. You know, 
or a bounty. It's that sort of thing, really. It is a bit shitty. I mean, there's times where, you know, there's a raid and... You now it works. Level up. Levels of the hunter. Awesome. We're in. This was one of Skywatch's old array stations, a link to the lunar colonies. Hmm. You know those works on you guys where if you yeah, basically die here, that's you have to restart. This gate. I can get it open. Right. Do you need to do? But yeah, it's a bit extreme, you know, you can't really respawn. If you're playing with friends and you know you can respawn as obviously they get you. You have to wait for them to revive you. If you're not in those positions then you can get revived easily. Um but now let's keep going. I mean, I'm hoping to get different stuff. I mean, it, I'll probably have some minor differences in this run. So, I'd like to see. I haven't played Destiny in ages as well, so I'm just going to try and keep an open mind. And just try and forget everything that's actually happened, so I can try and piece it all together. Right, there's Hive. Right here, so we've got Hive. These creatures are weird. These guys are like four-eyed creatures. That's definitely weird though. I don't know what the hell they are. Well, I do, but I'm just trying to keep an open mind and try and forget everything I know. Pretty much. Oh! Those are useful. Those guys are um, Ingrams. So it ranges from white, green, blue, yellow, purple and yellow. Yeah, not yellow and purple, it's purple and yellow. Um, obviously white is, you know, common, green is okay, blue is rare, purple is, you know, legend, and yellow is exotic, which is very interesting. You can only have one exotic gear, piece of gear on and one exotic weapon on at a time. You can have, like, a full slot of exotic stuff. Because it's that, you know, good, pretty much. Right. I haven't been on Earth in centuries. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. We should probably get moving. There we go, got a better gun now. So, you know, better equipment you have on the better. Oh crap, there's something up there as well. Like I said, there's also five gold chests you can get to knock a speeder. Um, I don't remember what they are exactly, but I'll try and get them next time when we're exploring. Mm. Coolio, just saying, you won't always get those, but... Yeah. You know how it works. Do you get, if you get something good, you get something good. If you don't, you don't. I mean, normally when you're doing the story for the very first time, you get stuff afterwards, like, no, you're not going to get anything at all. Right. There we go. 17. You, there we go. We're getting better stuff now. I don't know what that heavy weapons. We haven't locked heavy weapons yet. Blade Dance is weird. I'm going to do Gunslinger, though. But right... We're now gonna do 
the war mind. Let's go, let's go. Right, so we're now gonna try and do what we can to help out with by finding the war mind. I don't know what it is, but let's see. What do you mean? The Vanguard's reporting that fallen are tearing into machines all over the Cosmodrome. I'm starting to think they aren't just looting the place. Whatever they're looking for, we should probably find it first. Yeah, so basically we've got to find this war mind. Um, we're not even sure what they're looking for, but that's what we know it's called. So... We're just going to get this one done, then we'll head back to the tower and give our progress back to the speaker. I'm up heavy fallen activity near the Forgotten Shore. That's miles from here. Well, one of my memories I have of years, a couple, about a year ago, over a year ago, was um, farming. In 2014, there was um. Yeah, we need to get a vehicle, but um, no, there was a um. There's farming glitch where you could farm from loot um. For ingram farming, and it was a good way to get ingrams and stuff. But obviously, you know, Bungie, and I remember um, they even put an Easter egg in just to troll players, um, where you go into this place, there's n nothing, whatever, for Master Raul. And Raul is basically that guy in the tower who, open, who opens your ingrams, the certain ingrams, so you need to, well, the encrypted ones. Because there's, in there's ingrams and there's encrypted ingrams, the encrypted ingrams are the ones you need to take to him. And obviously, people were finding that merch where, you know, it was like, well, we're gonna take this and Here's the sparrow link. do what we need to do and they just basically took the piss out because they knew how bad it was but I mean to be fair it was good but I think the issue was too many people abused it when I was put on YouTube for everyone I mean there's only I think the issue is everyone wanted a piece of it and I think everyone wants to go oh you know oh, here we go everyone's like okay well you know, if he's uploaded I'll, I'll do it so I can get views and revenue and it's like fair enough I mean there's this guy called Dichronic who used to do it, and like I said, now because everyone's obviously stopped, there's not really any farming places left, obviously, you know, pop unpopular, boom, they've just buggered off and done other games, just like any other YouTuber who's into a trend, and then they, I like to call these people trending YouTubers, where they only tr do whatever for a trend, and then they stop, and just resort to whatever, which is a shame, really, but again, like I said, most of these YouTubers honestly just did it. I mean, it's like me doing it because of revenue. I mean, I'm j I'll, I'll be just as bad because then I'm. I'm I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the fact when it's a glitch. You know, if you don't want people, if you don't want to nerf it or whatever, then don't make, don't give them one extra way of finding out. The less of us are that tell, the better. And I mean, I'm not saying that people shouldn't. It's their choice. But I just think if you don't want them patching it, then. As long as no one, as long as we don't publicly the tell them, the then of course sort of Bungie wouldn't have known. But again, people were Let's posting constantly about it. Because I remember people getting a bit like, oh, we wish we could keep going. Oh, that's nice. Great. There's also dead ghosts you can find, like ghosts, like the ghost shells, and you can grab them for like Grim Accords cards. Apparently, they're meant to be the best way of storytelling, which I think is a bit bullshit. Again, we shouldn't have that. I mean, lore wise, yeah, fair enough. Lore, they should be lore cards or story cards. That's how it should work. But right, we've got to find.
Right, let's deploy the ghost, we're safe. Give me a second. Right, but no, that sounded Russian and weird old 80s music, 90s, early 1900s World War II music. Russian, World War II sort of thing, yeah, that makes sense. Right, sometimes you also will find caves and sometimes, no, sometimes for example they would be normally in these sort of places, but you know, there's nothing there. If we get into like another pickle, I will show off. Oh. Okay, yeah, so that's what I mean, you could farm the right spawns, but obviously as you guys could tell, there wasn't really anything good there. But, um, right, see, uh, what, sorry, I'm just checking for a ghost. Because, um, I don't know actually if the ghosts, um, I, I don't think there, I don't think there's any ghosts up here. Nah, that's fair enough. Was hoping that there would be one. Because, you know, let's show it off. Robert, was there one down here I can show off? No. Again, people, a downside is when you're with other people, when you're on a game like this, people also can loot them before you even get there, so. For a low-level person against a high-level person, obviously they'll be there, they'll know what they're doing, they'll be able to grab all the stuff, so a low-level beginner who's trying to grab as much as he could and try and get into the game, he's going to not have anything, which is a bit of a shame, which is probably why in the long run they probably did it. But then again, I guess now they're going to resort to getting the proper chess. So more chess, which means more of a chance. And it always is a chance, a drop sometimes can be chances, which is... You know, I kind of do understand, but at the same time, it's still a bit blur. If you know what I'm saying. The same transmission. They're both linked to something in Skywatch. Let's check it out. Right, let's get going. Uh, I've got to infiltrate the um, Skywatch and find out what they're up to and what this war mind has to do with what's going on. Um, but no, it was such a shame, really, with the with that glitch. I mean, I liked it. I actually, in some cases, I think it might have been better to just left it. Hang on. Bingo. I knew I had good memory. But guys, seriously, though. These are the sort of things you want to keep out for. You need these sort of things for, um, you know, you grab a gold chest and boom, you can get something decent out of it, hopefully. Um, I don't mind. First one. But yeah, that's not bad, actually. I think we've done quite well. I mean, there's more. And I will try and show them off whenever I get a chance. I mean, obviously in this let's play we'll get them, because obviously they are decent. Um, but no, it's just, I think it would be beneficial to leave them, because they obviously were doing their own thing. I mean, it did ruin the spawns for people. I think it messed up people's spawns, in a sense, like when they're trying to do missions. I do think they should have had different options, like if you want to play about other people bothering you. I mean, they could have still had the um, updates implemented and all that stuff. I just think they could have gave people that option. I think that would have been bad, and because then people can go on with their challenges a lot better. Yeah, as you guys saw, that's what Golden Gun does. Uh, 
And there we go. I would have shown off the um, heavy weapon, but I don't really see the point of wasting ammo. There we go. Upgrade yourself over time, and boom, you can even dismantle some of your old equipment you don't need just to um, get resources that you can use to make better armor and better weapons, I think, or certain things, I don't know, or trade. Right, let's get a pee and kill this git. Boom. Boom, boom. There we go, right. That's what we need to do. Let's deploy the ghost here. Oh, actually, that reminds you of something. Is that from one of the Bungie's older games? I can't remember the name. Like. Oni? Oni Myth? Oni Myth? I don't know. Myth. Oni, I don't know. One of the two. I can't remember the old games they did exactly, but. I'm a guilty pleasure in mind if I see an engram I'm gonna run for it. To be fair, it's the only time you really see any white ones. Doing quite well guys, we're doing alright. Doing really well. Come um, we can do this crazy. There you are. Little pimper. Wompish, stompish, wompish, whoa. Boom dee bum dee then that do. I'm going in, forget this. I'm a bit overwhelmed now, but you know. Okay, I've pulled up everything they managed to steal. We should destroy this thing. There we go. They didn't get much. Kept hitting an active firewall. Old Earth. Russian. Russian. So are true. A war mine did survive the collapse. Rasputin. An AI built to defend Earth. He faced the darkness and survived. And he's protecting something here in the Cosmodrome. We have to find a way to reach him. What is he protecting though? That's the thing. Is it something that can help us? Or... Oh. 
Amen. Or is it something that will kill us all? Because we'll never know. Hmm. But, you know, that's very interesting. I mean, we're not doing too bad. I've got our equipment and we're going to go straight back to the tower and talk to the big guy. Once we get level 20 then, yeah, we'll do it. Um, there we go. Um, what's this down here? Sprinkler, so that works. Really? Right. Ah, of course I need to be a different colour. Not a different colour, different level. Right, we need to go back to the tower, we're done here, we can't do anything else yet. Yeah, there's so much other stuff. We've only found two out of five. So we found one before, but obviously, you know. Right, let's go and see the speaker. The Death Star. <laughs> no. There was a time when we were much more powerful. But that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice. I am the one who speaks for the Traveller. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the Traveller created the Ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the Traveller itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. This is a shame this guy doesn't talk as much. I mean... I'm sure. Uh. We're in this together now. Huh. It's well on DCT, you can't transfer your character over. I mean, that's not a coin to do. Um, so I'll be able to transfer this character over and my main one. 
So that will be very interesting. Oh. I'm going to go back to the tower and talk and then after that we'll end the video because I believe another mission would just be pointless um, especially with the time limit I want to set I want to try and set this for like 40 minutes per one at least I don't know if it's just a bit over it's just the fact you know I don't want it to be that long So I'm hoping for the next few parts we can actually get more stuff done, gather more resources. And I will try and get these out a bit more, mainly because Destiny 2 and then it'll just be a bit there. I mean I want to try and keep up a bit better. Like I said before, I'm doing these to, um, you know, I'm doing these to keep up with all this. I'm doing this to keep up with what happened before. I mean, like I said, I this GTA 5 uh, Let's Play. There's a lot of stuff I've honestly not kept track of. Also, bounties. Those are actually quite useful. Um, Man United found ways. 360. Fair play. Um, but like I said, there's something up there. There's bounties we can do. I mean, if we're a bit low level, we can always do a few bounties. Let's talk to Cade. Who's actually the voice actor from Buck? Is for who's Buck's voice actor? You know Buck from a Fatal Fury C. So here we go. Nice job, Take a cloak. A new gunslinger. Aim true guardian. Most embarrassing thing a hunter could do is snap off a shot of solar power only to see a splatter off a wall. Get out there and practice a bit. Further the trigger. Like. I guess you got a good story out of it. Alright, I'll be right here. Step. I see what you want yes, then. You day, you Report, oh, I shook a bit. Thank you. Patrols 101. Never and then, hang on. level up, boom. Right, okay, let's talk to you, missus. Lights wasting. Let's talk. Once the war mind network stretch across the solar system linked to gather path communica communications away. Oh arrays, guys, not arrays, don't worry. Dead orbit sent out scouts some time ago to investigate the arrays. They never returned. I want to know what happened to them and what mind of Rasputin may hold. Well, dare mind if Raspian may hold. I thought you'd take care of it. Good luck out there. <sighs> Aim? You're calling the shot. I am. The hive called to you too. Okay. Right, we'll grab some bounties and then that'll be it. Um, because you know we might get some done on the way, and honestly, that's useful. And um, we want to do some crucible ones because again, we're not into yeah. really doing crucible. We're here to do uh, things. Right. Okay. Non issue. Um. Yep, not an issue. Non issue. Um. We'll do that eventually, and then this one. Right, we're going to end the video here, guys. We're pretty much there now. Um. But yeah, in the next video we're going to get on what we're doing and go to the moon. 
So what we know so far, Rasputin has been bad. But, yeah, you know what, we'll, I'll decide heads and tails when it comes to it. Take care guys, bye.